there are a lot of issues that we could focus on that point to systemic maladies within our own system but this system exists because there is this desh and for us desh or bharat comes first tonight on this edition of the right stand first up we'll bring to you a story which merits most attention ladies and gentlemen the reason being there are entities across the world who want to thwart bharat's rise and the only way they seem to be able to do it or they think they can do it is to push us into the throes of yet another conflict and economically drain us as a nation war costs every nation ladies and gentlemen and especially a nation that is wanting to rise and become developed in the course of the next 23 years by the time we turn 100 if we are at the stage of our growth at the stage of our jump at this critical juncture where we can actually make that leap as a nation together as a people if we are embroiled in conflict if we are embroiled into the throes of a conflict or a quasi war ladies and gentlemen it will hurt us because there are nations that can print unlimited amount of currency but we can't there are nations who will do anything to protect their hegemonistic tendencies and they will destroy other nations we don't and we won't but do we not have the right to protect ourselves are we seeing the signs clearly do the powers that be and those that in government and also the babus who decide on policy will they preempt this strike or will they wait for the conflict to come right into our own sovereign territories the makings are already there with what's happening in jammu ladies and gentlemen with what's happening in punjab we'll get you inputs on that too but here is the larger picture here is the big picture on the cnn news 18 mega exclusive is there a kargil 2 looming large upon us 25 years later should we brace ourselves for impact or should we nip it in the bud and thwart this attempt right at where it is currently manifesting ladies and gentlemen is this perhaps the west bid open bid to thwart a rising bharat pakistan being the instrument west being the mastermind have a look at this ladies and gentlemen In the CNN News 18 mega exclusive, our group editor security Manoj Kumar Gupta has been able to get a document that looks at a global perspective and where it gives us a warning as a nation. A Kargil 2 like threat looms large, ladies and gentlemen. Pakistan is targeting Jammu as a new strategy because our own deployments are stretched with us engaged at two fronts the LOC and the international border with Pakistan and the LAC or the line of actual control with the PLA or the Chinese troops. Pak troops are pushing infiltrations via Jammu. There is also the bat action that happened over the weekend. Bat action means it's not foreign terrorists or jihadi outfits. It's the direct involvement of Pak army cadre. This is a bit to divert attention from international turmoil. Pakistan itself is a bankrupt nation. It cannot do this on its own. Someone has to provide it with ammunition, with money. They have jihadis, lots of them. But they cannot send them here and afford that cost unless somebody tells them, go ahead, we will fund you or we will pay you the money. This bit to thwart a rising Bharat, why? Attempt to divert attention from the Ukraine war or the Ukraine conflict. A Kargil tool like conspiracy is one to divert attention and also reduce the impact, the global noise and the global attention around the Ukraine conflict because the West wants to wiggle out of that perhaps or move out of that perhaps. And create two plays, theatres of play, action. One is Kashmir or Kargil-like situation in this region, in Jammu and Kashmir. And the other one is with the Afghanistan-Iran border. So an attack on Iran, a possibility. There are a large number of weapons that are missing and the Taliban still at loss as to where it went. This is what the US left when they vacated Afghanistan. These weapons were recovered with Afghan fighter footprints in Jammu. The carbines were there, the M4s were there. Sudden spurt in terror incidents means some of those jihadis are moving in here and the arms and ammunition which were cut off away by Pakistan. CNN News 18 did this story at the time of the Afghan, uh, the entire strife in Afghan. 
Afghanistan and the U.S. vacating Afghanistan and the takeover, Taliban takeover, all of this was carted by the Pakistanis and the ISI towards their bases. The larger question is, is the West using Pakistan to hurt Bharat? And why the West wants to use Bharat? One, they are upset over the India-Russia ties. They did not like our insistence and our position, unwavering position on asserting our strategic autonomy and staying on that path. The only way to keep Pakistan out of China's grip, because CNN News 18 and on the right stand, we put out the fact that the Chinese, the PLA, are paying Pakistan money to secure CPEC. And that means increasing trips of Pakistani leaders to Beijing was worrying the West too. The threat of a multipolar world order, a new world order if Bharat rises, along with it the global south, and then suddenly the hegemonistic tendencies of certain nations get disrupted. It also wants to divert attention away from Ukraine. So these are some of the reasons. But the theatre of play or the theatre of action is Bharat's sovereign territory. What are we going to do about it? S.P. Vaid, former DGP Jammu Kashmir with us. Maru Fraza, defence analyst with us. Sushant Sarin, senior fellow ORF with us. I'm just going to go across to our guests if they are there with us. And my namaste and jai hind to everybody. Let me quickly ask uh, Maru Fraza and Sushant Sarin. As even as Mr. Wed joins us, Maru Fraza, we discussed this over the weekend. We had a conversation which was preempting this, but now there are global indicators which say that the Afghanistan Iran region will be, there will be a flux, and on Bharat's territory, Pakistan will be the instrument. The weapons will find their way back to Taliban because they are all of the US issue or whatever was left behind by the Americans. Uh, there are a lot of inside stories to this, but would you agree with this assessment? that we are on the cusp of yet another conflict looming large at us, just at a time when we as a nation are poised to take off. Anand, you know, it doesn't surprise me. Your assessment is pretty much on the spot. But Pakistan is a country that cannot be relied to do anything else but create trouble. Pakistan's establishment has decided that it must draw India into the activities that it is building up towards because that's the one way the military in Pakistan can get their people to take the military's agenda seriously because the military must foment trouble in the Indo-Pak context from the LOC right to the LAC to tell people that we are worth the money that we are juicing the Pakistani establishment for. Mm. Now, how are they doing it? These attacks in the area of Jammu and adjoining regions, as I mentioned to you once earlier on your program, Ji. that, you know, when you leave a territory unattended, then you create space for troublemakers to move in. And since we were so focused on the valley and the same happened in Kargil, Ji. we were so focused on the valley that Pakistan moved into Kargil, which was easy playing ground for them. Now, Pakistan would like to create trouble through its various teams. One of them, which is figuring in the conversation, are the bat teams. Ji. These are teams created by the Pakistan army, which are guerrilla-like soldiers who are trained to create trouble and be ruthless in attacking us. But please remember that at least 10 years ago or more, there were bad teams that were crossing over across the LOC into Indian territory near Poonch and Rajori. And some were eliminated, some were pushed out. Mm. But bad teams again being revived, it reaffirms my view that Pakistan's army lacks ideas. Mm. It will keep going back a few years later to do the same operations it has done earlier, whether okay. they've been successful or not. They, as I we go back to 47, 48, some war gaming experts in the US told Pakistan Ji. that you can take Kashmir away from India hmm. if you do a 47-48 type operation 
with a few modifications and don't have failures by your establishment denying you weapons platforms right this time they're totally in control the politicians are either in jail or sitting at home in hiding so the military has complete control over the budget and shahbaz sharif is a lackey of the military hmm. what pakistan hopes to do is to get the world to draw attention because the us is now uh, both in a state of flux because of the presidential Jee. problems and pakistan but we would is also... now playing up on american concerns Jee. about india being getting close to russia correct india has its own strategic reasons to get close to russia right. one of them is to keep russia on our side so that russia doesn't go completely on to china's side hmm. the second thing is pakistan's going to use all the resources that are available geopolitically for pakistan to get the issue of kashmir revived ji india has done well in the political context of getting kashmir a some kind of a stability post article 370's abrogation but now pakistan must play its big cards hmm. one of them is to create turmoil on the border areas with pakistan and india and the other is to create the scare of a long drawn out conflict ji long drawn out to hoga ki nahi i don't know but certainly a conflict Dekhi. and a conflict is in expensive business Ep- it's exactly, going to cost sir. pakistan a billion dollars a day can they afford it but pakistanis are such they rather go bankrupt then sit and count their money but in this case the the assessment is that it's not the, the pakistanis don't have money unless somebody funds them and somebody who some entities who have the un- ability to print unlimited amount of currency are the ones who are bankrolling this like they have done it in the past and it's an open secret that there is a de- deep state within the west which has been orchestrating this irrespective of which government or who's the president or who's in power and they have done it and they have they've been involved in afghanistan they've been involved in pakistan and they have bankrolled huge billions of dollars have come through for that but uh, mr wed one of the information that we have is the fact that there are a large number of weapons from the taliban that are missing and the haqqanis actually have made a memo that runs into 600 pages that documents each and every total number of our uh, you know uh, weapons that are missing and there is a full account of it and uh, that there was an effort even by the taliban to try and buy back these weapons from who they know has it in possession so the pakistanis perhaps were also trying to wiggle out a deal there and make some money on the side with us weapons but that's not happened because the 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 taliban themselves don't have this money but this money is now coming in at the end of the day what happens is whatever is recovered here is not accounted to pakistan but goes back into the inventory of the taliban so there are multiple layers within layers of what we see happening around us but at the end of the day it's going to hurt us as a nation it's going to somewhere derail our growth story if we don't preempt this and if we don't strike before the enemy strikes mr wait uh thank you mr anand uh, see uh, uh, it is a fact that american weapons have reached and they are being used uh, you saw m4 uh, rifle uh, assault uh, carbines being used mm. american weapon which was left in afghanistan and uh, they have been recovered here in in actions uh, both in jammu region and uh, in kashmir also and uh, uh, even the steel coated uh, you know armored piercing uh, bullets uh, which, which are which are uh, basically uh, chinese but then they are also being used uh, see uh, pakistan army coming to that uh, general topic how pakistan pakistan army whoever gives them dollars yeah they they are you know pakistan army is for sale whoever gives them dollars they are that's what we have been seeing since 47 and, and west has been using them that way very uh, you saw uh, recently uh, a package uh, uh, given by america to uh, uh, pakistan i think 230 or the odd million dollars so uh, in spite of all this backstabbing by pakistan hmm. best still the america still uh, you know it is strange that it trusts pakistan and pakistan's army hmm. and uh, uh, the collusion of uh, 
China is also in in fact it suits China. China mm. if something hurts India, mm. the China sees India as 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 a competitor, not only in Asia, even the 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 status of global power which India is poised to attain. Mm. China doesn't want that, and if uh, with few dollars you can make uh, Pakistan army to do this, I think China uh, it will suit China's interest also mm. apart from best. Mm. And uh, uh, recently we saw how uh, Sha- uh, Shawa Sharif uh, had a visit to China. You saw uh, the the army chief uh, General That's Asim Munir uh, went there, and. Uh, uh, I, I see uh, their collision with Pakistan uh, uh, army, mm. and uh, that's what is reflecting on ground. Now, uh, coming to uh, the the kind of action which are taking place in Jammu, mm. the, this escalation in the last two years. Uh, initially, it was in Rajauri Punch. Uh, the mm. look at the military precision with which these attacks are taking place, and I I have inputs from across. That these are SSG commandos of the Pakistan Army. They are mm. not uh, earlier type militants. No, don't call them militants. They are, terrorists. It, huh? it, these are bloody terrorists, and they are, uh, and some of them uh, uh, there are SSG commandos. In fact, uh, as per report, uh, the uh, GOC of the SS uh, uh, SSG uh, wing of the uh, Pakistan Army SSG commandos, uh, Major General. Asif, uh, his name is Adil Adil uh, Rahmani. Hmm. He is coordinating all uh, this uh, action which is happening in Jammu region. Hmm. And you saw uh, how with the military precision they are attacking. It's not like earlier attacks when Fidai attack used to take place. This suicide attack, two to two or right. three terrorists attack the Santri post, enter any camp of the army or police or the uh, CAPF and then get killed and killed as uh, five, ten uh, soldiers. them. But this time, what I am uh, observing, the attacks are initially properly, uh, you know, uh, racked, then surveilled and after that executing attack and they have, they ensure that they they escape from there. You have not been able to find out the trail of the terrorist after so, the attack. So, so yeah. w- w- what happens, 